Good evening. Today is the 23rd of August 2021. Uh, the last video I made I had some things that I wanted to say but the video had already gotten too long um, and I needed to finish that one and then just do another one. Today is that day. I have an unbelievable amount of turkey vultures circling overhead. Uh, I'll show you that in just a little bit. Actually, I'll show you that right now. I don't know if you can see those guys up there. I can sure see them. There's a ton of them. They're all up there looking for something dead or something dying. And that's really what this video is going to be about. And the next epidemic, H E P A demic, not plandemic, although it will be a plandemic. Although it will be a plandemic, it's uh, it's going to be based on a hepatitis type of virus, or so they will say. So this is all prophetic in nature. This is just something that I see, Isaiah. Let's see, Isaiah, it's not Isaiah, no, it is, Isaiah 29.9. They will stagger as drunken men, but not on wine. Uh, Skyler, uh, down in uh, Florida, I believe it is, has symptoms of staggering like a drunk person, yet not on wine. And he's spoken the name of God, and he's nonverbal, and he shouldn't be doing any of this, but he is. So to me, that's the Holy Spirit working through Skylar. Uh, the Holy Spirit worked through my daughter. That's on the last video. The Holy Spirit worked through me when my daughter was six months old. I was lifting her up and playing flying baby and lifting her up and saying, aya, aya. The Holy Spirit takes charge of people and does what he wants with them. And then later on, sometimes we get to see that. Uh, I recorded it because I knew it was something special. So. Skyler has these symptoms, and he's saying the name Aya, and his mother and I uh, have a dialogue going back and forth on, uh, online, and I'm sure his father is on board. I, I know that she's spoken uh, of her husband, so keep this family in your prayers. Uh, God's got his hand on them without a doubt. I have no fear for, their, for who they are and what he's doing in their lives, um, yet he still asks us to pray, even though we know the outcome that they're going to be taken care of. So, um, what does that mean? Why am I talking about it? It's because we have a current situation in the world of epidemics. Epidemic after epidemic. We've had the, uh, the, the, the uh, COVID-19. Now we've got variant blah, 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 and blah. We're currently on the Delta variant. <laughs> Get it? The Delta variant. You know what I'm talking about? Those people. So, the Delta variant. Um, what's next? I think the Gamma variant. Is going to be the one that's going to be the the most lethal it's going to have no possible no possibility of treatment and it's going to give people symptoms of drunken men uh, but not because of wine uh, this is just going to be an attack an attack of the hepatic system the hepatic system is your liver hepatitis is a destruction of the liver which leads to hepat hepatic encephalopathy which means you stagger around like a drunk person but not on wine and God says this will happen and he says it'll happen to a large portion of the population of the earth gee isn't that kind of where we're at and when I say gee I don't mean 007 I don't mean the G of the Freemasons I mean Lord Jesus Christ is that really what's gonna happen father God is that what's gonna happen yeah that's what's going to happen. They're going to stagger like drunken men, but not on wine. How are they going to do that? And who's going to be in charge of it? And how will it end? I'm going to speculate on that based on videos that I've seen from when my daughter was little. Now, if I'm watching videos with my daughter when she's little, they're going to be videos that were made for little daughters. And one of them was a Christian show. And, and in it, 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 it has, uh, you know, cucumbers and tomatoes and asparaguses. And one of the asparagus plays Jonah, the prophet. And he goes to, the, he goes to a little town and he's going to give a, a message from the Lord. 
a message from the Lord. That's my best uh, impersonation of Archibald the Asparagus. So he goes to the town and he starts singing a song. And he sings, uh, you know, uh, Don't eat pigs, don't eat bats, don't eat beetles, flies, or gnats. Stay away from all of that. A message from the Lord. Don't eat pigs, swine flu, swine epidemic. Don't eat bats, COVID-19. Don't eat beetles, flies, or gnats, an insect-borne virus. Well, they got the first two right. They're going to get the third one right, too? I think they will. Because hepatitis can be insect-borne. It can be carried by insects. It's very rare. But, gee, world pandemics are pretty rare, too. Plandemics, well, those things happen. But pandemics, actual pandemics, those are rare. And to have two of them strike within a couple of years of each other, exceedingly rare. Unless they're planned. So we'll leave that for the others. But the bottom line is, is that we've got swine flu, COVID-19, and now in this little show for smaller human beings, uh, got to watch how you say these things, uh, for smaller human beings, they have this scenario. Oh, and he's riding a camel. That would be uh, SARS Mediterranean virus. The, uh, oh, what did they call it? Med flu, maybe. I don't, it's been a while. But uh, so we've got all, all four of these elements all in one particular scene as a message from the Lord to whom? Brad Pitt in Fury says, uh, quotes Isaiah 6, and Isaiah 6 says, though you have eyes to see, you do not perceive and though you have ears to hear you don't hear people watch movies and they don't see and they don't hear even though they're using their eyes and their ears to watch the stuff they're probably watching my stuff right now and some of them will come and go eh, mm -hmm. and they won't have eyes or ears to see it even though they have eyes and ears on their head and they work sort of sort of so we have this scenario insect born that would fit with hepatitis that would fit with isaiah 29 9 that would give people all the symptoms that God himself says will occur throughout the world. Sounds like that's the next one. Why is it that there's no cure for this particular oncoming <clears throat> virus? Because it's not a virus. It's not a virus. There is a method by which you can destroy a person's liver without anyone realizing what destroyed it that mimics hepatitis but you got to get this little ultra small pieces of magnetic negative and positively polarized magnets you know less than 50 nanometers maybe greater than 50 and less than 100 but you got to get these things into a person not only just into a person but you got to get them into the entire world population how are you going to do that you can put it in the food supply be kind of gritty Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they'd notice. I don't know. But you could put it into other stuff and then convince the world that, gee, they should, they should take this. It's good for them, even though it's not. That's a whole another kid's movie that I can't talk about. <coughs> Cars too. And that's where you'll find that scenario. And then they'll use this electromagnetic thing. So if the entire, if, if, big if, what if? If the entire world were to happen to have these small magnetic particles in them and then there was a electromagnetic pulse that activated those and destroyed the livers on these people let's say a little area at a time so it looks like it spreads like a disease um, it would look like it spread like a disease because a small group of people let's say a borough in New York maybe even just a neighborhood all of a sudden gets this illness and they can't figure out how to cure it and no matter what they give them it doesn't work because it's a physical destruction from an external source on the liver hmm how would that happen well there's a presidential alert system set up that you can you can literally send a signal to a small area just say uh, you know a, a portion of a town because there's a an amber alert or something like that and every phone gets it whether you like it or not your phone's going to buzz because it's a presidential alert but it's only for this area so let's say they ring up 
this little area here, and that little area there, and that area there, and one of them over there. It looks as though these are small outbreaks, and then they grow into bigger outbreaks as they then spread the message. There's an outbreak in area B, C, D, and F. And that goes to a larger area because you need to alert the people around B, C, and F to what's going on. But in the alert comes the electromagnetic pulse. And in the alert comes the activation of these metal things in people's livers. And in the alert that says, hey, look out for mosquitoes and stay inside because hepatitis is out there. Lock down. They lock down the world again. And it's all because of, a friend of mine said, global warming. We have more mosquitoes. It's gotten warmer. The, their, their breeding grounds are rife with these things, and they're everywhere. So you can't go outside because you know mosquitoes can bite you and fly away. You'll never know it. Ooh, be afraid. Be very afraid. So they'll lock down the world again. They'll send out these signals saying, hey, watch out for this and watch out for that. But it's the signal that actually activates the destruction of the liver. It's called uh, hypothermic abl ablation. And it's being used to destroy tumors on livers currently. And uh, they take a, you know, I don't have a cell phone, but let's say this wallet is a cell phone. I take my cell phone, I put it in my hip pocket, and when the, when the beam comes in, this is an antenna. And the beam comes, goes, passes through my body to the antenna. That's a lot of radiation going through there. How much does it take? I don't know. I don't know. I've got a document on my channel under the band section. You might be able to figure it out from that. But that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. This is a purely what if sort of thing. I really, you know, even though the science is available to prove that it's possible, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. It just means it's possible. It's most certainly possible. How did God know that it would be possible? Well, Isaiah was 900 BC, somewhere around there maybe. How did he know? Because he's God. And he's, made, he's running the show. And he wants you to know. Jesus said, I tell you these things before they happen so that when they happen, you will believe. And in your belief comes your salvation because you'll believe in Jesus and be like, well, who gave us that message? I'm that Jesus guy. Well, then we better stick with Jesus. Who told us about Ayah being the God of the Jews? Moses is God. You know, the God that we used to believe in, but was hidden by the, Gentile, by the uh, rabbis. Well, that was a Jesus guy. Well, you better start believing in Jesus because this is the only way I get this information is from Jesus, from God the Father, through the Holy Spirit, there is a movement of the Spirit going on right now to disseminate information so that people will be ready and will believe when the time comes. I think I misspoke yesterday about 106, Psalm 106, Psalm 107. Psalm 106 says they forgot him. Oh, they completely forgot him. And every time they forgot God, he's like, look, I'm going to have to show you what's up. And in Psalm 107, he says, then I put, or so I put upon them these troubles. Then they turned to me. So God's going to put trouble upon the earth so that you will turn to him. So that then when this trouble comes, you'll turn to him. So I hope you would turn now just because of the knowledge. But some people, I mean, I live in Missouri. It's the show me state. Some people got to see it to believe it. If you really have to see people dying over and over and over and all over from a quote unquote virus that has no cure, that causes people to stagger like a drunk man so that you can then look at the scriptures and say, wow, these things add. If that's what it takes for you, great. At least you'll get into heaven. But I'm hoping that you'll make the study now and realize it's already true. It's already true. And that Jesus is God. He's part of the triune God. Shema Israel, our Elohim Echad. I can't do it. I can't remember. it. But the bottom line is there is one God. Our God is one God. And that one God is in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Time to wake up. But if you have to see it to believe it, it's going to come. Because the Bible says they're going to stagger like drunken men, but not on wine. How do you get human beings to do that? You destroy their livers. Who's going to, how's this thing going to end? Well, the Antichrist is going to want to be worshipped as God. So he's going to have to pull off some worldwide crazy miracle. And I think the end of a epidemic would be just big enough that people would be like, okay, he's God. He did this. He stopped this at his command. He said, you know, let the, let the waters part. That was God. But the Antichrist is going to be given the ability to deceive 
millions and millions and millions of people. And the way that he could do that is to end a epidemic. He has control over the flies, he has control over the frogs, he has control over... All the frogs will eat all the mosquitoes and it will end and that's how this is going to happen, he'll say. He'll say. Meanwhile, his henchmen, who are broadcasting this electrofrequency, will just simply stop broadcasting. And as soon as they stop broadcasting, livers stop ablating. And as soon as livers stop ablating, the symptoms go away. And the epidemic is over. Sounds like a pretty good pull-off to me. I think that might, might be how it's going to go down. So, since this is August 23rd, 2019, and the world is just nice and peaceful and calm, and, oh, the turkey vultures are gone. Interesting. Hey, this hasn't happened yet. But Jesus says in John, twice, John 13, 19, John 14, 29, I think. I tell you these things before they happen so that when they happen, you will believe. Does that make me Jesus? No. It just means I hear him. Everybody should hear him. His sheep know his voice. To another they will not go. You should be hearing from Jesus. You should hear the truth and know the truth. You should have the Holy Spirit in you, telling you, speaking to you all the time. That's the other video. So that's how I believe it can be done. Go over to my website, uh, onigonosco.org. Look at the stuff that says B-A-N-N-E-D. And number three is probably the best one. I might have even duplicated a lot of information on one and two, so I'd skip one and two, go straight to three. But that's how I believe it's going to happen. And that's how I believe the Antichrist will claim power over it, that he will claim deity because he stopped the epidemic in its tracks, even though it's as I described it. Those little... Tiny movies for little tiny people have so much information in them. But you know, we can't talk about that kind of stuff because, it, you know, kids might be watching. And we don't want them to see that. It would disturb them, and, and great, rightfully so. We, we really don't. But this is one more way of constricting the flow of truth, the flow of information. And that's really what this is all about. You know, even if their eyes and ears are open and ready... If you can't get the message to them, what good is it? I'm trying to get the message out. I hope you'll help me. Um, I could use your support. I can always use your support. Uh, but hopefully I will have a post office box for that so that those who don't like the system of electronic transfer will just send a little something. Um, if you go to my PayPal, make sure you see my face. Because if you don't, there's there's I've had some hiccups with that. But uh, just make sure that if, if, it, if you feel like supporting that it comes, you know, to me. I appreciate that. And um, that's it. I'm trying to keep this going for as long as I can. I've got applications for work. Uh, you know, there's the, 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 you have to live the way you have to live. And then Paul mended tents, and I'm going to have to go back to mending tents. And it is what it is. But uh, this is my first passion. This is my first love, and I'd like to continue doing it. So... God bless and take care. Thanks so much for your help, and we will see what we will see. Now, I could be wrong, but the Bible isn't. They will stagger like drunken men, and it won't be because of wine. And I don't believe it's going to be because of insect-borne hepatitis either. God bless and take care. Bye.